How you doing, lads? Um, just a quick video out there, uh, about ten minute video about my beloved Arsenal. Just a few points I want to talk about today. That's really, really affecting me, you know. We're very quick to point the finger at the fan base. I include it. And we all know my opinions about the fan base. Lots of flip-flops. Lots of fucking dickheads talking a lot of fucking shit. But there's only a few true ones out there. Um, but the rest of the fans, I just, I really don't guess where they're coming from. But this is not a video about the fans. Um, this is a video, lads, about so-called Arsenal legends. They have to be called out. Have to be. We're all quick enough to point the finger at Arteta and the owners and Vinay and Edu and the players. And, and I, I'd be the first to do it. But... Fingers have to be pointed at these so-called legends of ours, you know. I grew up, lads, watching Martin Keown, leader on the pitch. Ray Parrer, leaving everything on the, on the pitch. Wasn't the most gifted a player, but he tried. Played for the badge, played for the club. Played for the fans. Ian Rice. Second grade score score in Arsenal's history. Alan Smith. A score of some of the most memorable goals an Arsenal fan will ever remember. These lads are legends in the club. But I am seriously fucked up. Listening to fucking shit coming out of their fucking mouths as well as the fans. Where does it fucking stop? Alan Smith came on Sky Sports the other day after the Newcastle game. It absolutely fucking disgusted me what he said. That Arsenal fans would take arms off people. If we were told that we get 5th place in the Premier League this season. What the fuck is that statement about? Said that it was a great season. That we should be proud of the club. Proud of the players. Proud of the manager. That's had to be a great season. I hear that stop about overachieving. What the fuck is going on here, lads? Someone, just explain in the comments down below. Because I'm seriously missing a lot of stuff here. We should be happy. They get fifth. That's a great season. Alan Smith. And that was bigger things to come for this club. Under this management. The only thing I can see, lads, club going that way. That's all I can see. Great improvement, he said. Great improvement. I am fucking sick listening about great improvement. How is it great improvement? No Champions League football again. Fifth spot, eighth spot and eighth spot. We've conceded more goals this season than we did last season. We've scored less goals this season than we did last season. We got beat 12 times last season and we're out getting beaten 13 times this season. But we're improving. What a fucking prick. What a fucking prick. That man should come out there and say how things are. The fucking truth. Ian Rice is going around there, lads. Club legend. Going around there. PR man there for the club. Coming out and he's sitting on the bike there and he fucking showing off jerseys. 
No t-shirts, no this, no that, culture tops and all this fucking shit. It's disgusting. It's absolutely fucking disgusting to see what's going on with Ian Rice. I saw a video clip of that prick and he's singing fucking songs about Mikel Arteta. When we were in four spot thinking that we we're going to get Champions League football. Him! We got Mikel Arteta and he delighted with himself. Are they delusional or what? Let's, what the fuck, like? Talking about fucking jerseys. They're playing everything on Sunday. Last game of the season. With the new strip for next season. They wore the fucking strip there against Newcastle on Monday nights. And none of them were fit enough to wear the fucking shirt. And now they're going to be wearing no fucking shirts. On Sunday. Any fans out there is watching this and it's going to be at the game on Sunday, you better not buy the fucking jersey stats. The only way we can start this is boycott the fucking games and boycott the fucking army, armory and the jerseys and all that fucking shit. Hit them in the pockets. Rape harder. PR man for the beer that they're selling at the Emirates. 7 or something for a pint. Sure, it's fucking scandalous. Scandalous. Beer. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Fuck you, rape harder. Martin Kewan is the worst one of them all. He's on BT Sports saying one thing one time I get, uh, when we were playing sports and then he was on Talk Sports saying a, a complete different thing. Lying. Fucking lying. Lying and lying. For their big fucking jobs. Instead of telling facts, telling the fucking truth. We're not stupid like. So as far as I'm concerned that's all them fellas can fuck off. Fucking finish with them all. They mean nothing to me. When I grew up looking at them players, they were legends. Legends of the game. Mean. Put their bodies on the line. Look at them now. Then, AFTV, the fan base, the management, the ownership, the players, have this club fucked. I'm going to keep shouting that. So I'm going to keep on... Voice of my opinions on the, st on the things start changing. I want my club back. I want the real Arsenal back. That's I'm going to get the fuck out of here. It was a short one. But I just want to express my feelings about the so-called legends of Arsenal Football Club. Letting us all down. Letting the real fans down. After forgetting the history. Ain't it? After forgetting the culture. The values of the club. After forgetting all that. Because it's all about that. And then that's I'm getting the fuck out of here. Listen. Subscribe, share, spread the word. I'm trying to build the platform up. You're going to see my big ugly face more often than that. So that's it. Uh, on to the next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Arteta, get the fuck out of my club.